I'm, I'm Anna Bennett from Lloyds Banking Group, and um, can I just say how wonderful it has been to listen to these presentations so far? Absolutely incredible and very inspiring, so um, uh, wonderful. Uh, thank you for having me here. So um, I just want to say first and foremost what a positive experience it has been for me to be a mentor um, within the SSE and how much I've enjoyed it and how much I've really taken away from it. Um, and um, I've only got five minutes, so I'm trying to make it short. Um, but I'm going to talk about a couple of aspects of, of what came to my mind when I was asked to do this uh, little talk. Just really about the SSE and how the engagement worked with uh, the SSE at, at the beginning. Also wanted to talk about my mentee, Janine Charles, who's going to talk later, and, um, and how we work together. Um, what I've learned about what it means to be a social entrepreneur, and also about what a, a being a mentor has meant for me as well. So just trying to cover some of those things. Um, so just talking about when I first got engaged with the, um, with the SSE, um, it was absolutely fantastic. It was very exciting because um, we actually had this evening of meeting with a number of different mentees um, and with a number of mentors from Lloyds Banking Group. We met in a social entrepreneur kind of type cafe, which I probably would have never actually stepped inside, just only because you know I think I'm probably one of those corporate people that works all the time. But um, but you know it was just really nice, and, and there was a real vibe and a real nice feeling around what this whole thing was going to mean and how we're going to work together. Um, and um, but there was also good structure around it. So there was a, you know contracting. There was looking at how we're going to work together. There was signing pieces of paper to say what the roles are, and, and it felt very safe and it felt very um, sensible and good and things that I recognised from my life, but at the same time there was a real nice vibe about it. Um, working with Jenny has been great and really um, sort of life-changing in some ways for me, I think. Um, Jenny is going to talk later about what she does, what her initiative is, but um, she's working with, um, with, with their children who have been adopted and with their families and trying to support them to, to make a difference. Um, um, and to, to be able to have a better life. Um, and um, I've obviously strongly connected myself. I'm a mother of two children, and it's felt a very sort of valid thing to be doing, and that's probably helped our relationship in terms of how we work together. But there's been some challenges, because I'm Bristol-based, and Janine is Oxford-based. She's got children, I've got children, we've got busy lives. So we managed to sort of meet face-to-face, -face, which I think is very important when you have a mentoring relationship, um, is to sort of develop that kind of rapport and that kind of... Um, way of, uh, of talking and, and understanding and, and sort of seeing the other person's body language and, and really sort of getting on um, at that personal level. Um, Janine has been very organised about what she wants from the sessions that we have, so clearly when you only manage to meet each other sort of four or five times or whatever it is, you need to be kind of really quite clear about what you want. Um, and, um, and that's been great, so we've come with, a, with, a, with an agenda and we've sort of gone through that. Um, and what, I, what I've been really um, sort of thinking, what I've been sort of bringing to it is, is um, trying to kind of think about what kind of questions I can ask her that will help her focus. So it's not really me giving her answers, but it's her enabling her to find the solutions to her own problems, really. So I think that what's been really important is, is being with the what is happening now moment, what's happening with her business, what her ideas are, what her blockers are, and working through you know, what could she do about it and how could she go about doing that? And that, I think, has been the basis of our work together. And I think the value I brought, you know, and Janine can contradict me, don't, <laughs> um, has been, uh, I think, really, the main, the main aspect of being a mentor is, is to have someone that listens to you from your own angle. So um, someone who comes from the outside and, and sort of has a different view and different perspective and, and listens and is on your side, I think that's really important. I think some people have referenced that sense of sharing and, and what's important about that. So, um, so certainly that, 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 that I think from our discussions has been what Janine has hopefully taken out of it. Um, and this brings me smoothly to what I have learned, um, being, a, uh, being a mentor um, to a, a person with a social entrepreneur type company or initiative. Um, and I'm going to read from, to you just from Wikipedia, because, you know, I was thinking, how do I make the structure, because I'm a banker. So, um, um, social entrepreneurship is the process of pursuing suitable solutions to social problems. More specifically, social entrepreneurs adopt a mission to create and sustain social value. They pursue opportunities to serve this mission while continuously adapting and learning. They draw upon appropriate thinking in both the business and the non-profit worlds and operate in all kinds of organisations. Now, immediately I thought, this is great. There's lots here which I really recognise. So looking at some of those things and the key success factors for Janine's business, I think have been 
pursuing suitable solutions to social problems. So this is all about creativity, isn't it? It's about, all about thinking, how do, I, how do I solve this problem? What do I do to solve this issue I'm facing? And social entrepreneurs often are facing issues that nobody else is facing because their business models are different. So, you know, there's a, a different kind of issue there. Adopting a mission. Well, I think it takes a hell of a lot of determination and a hell of a lot of uh, personal courage to be a social entrepreneur. You know, you need to really believe in what you're doing. You need to wake up every morning to pursue your mission. And, it, you know, it really is something I really respect. Um, and certainly having heard from people today, really incredible. Social value. Social value is something about deeply held personal beliefs. Um, and I think that's, I think probably all of us have heard that tonight. But there's something about that. And, um, and it's so important um, for all social entrepreneurs to appreciate that they are the driving force of their business. And if they put too much pressure on themselves, that can really cause it to be difficult because they are the creative force. So it's tempering the rate of business growth because otherwise you may go too fast. That, that's what I think I've learned. Um, and the last thing is about adapting and learning. Um, so um, it is around having an open mind and always thinking, hmm, how do I take this problem? How do I, how do I change it? And it's also about using your contacts. You know, who are my contacts? Who can I draw upon? How can I make a best combination of what I have? It's about using your resources wisely. Lastly, just very quickly, um, what being a mentor has meant to me, um, well, it's been, as I said, an incredible experience. Um, what I've learned is that I know things. You know, when you work in a big organization like a bank, or I'm sure some of you work in other big organizations as well, um, you know, you kind of do your role and you go to work and you do your thing, but actually, it's been very interesting that I think I've been able to help, which has been great for me personally. I really enjoyed that. And that's where I've really taken pleasure out of that, actually, and it's kind of really been very self-affirming, so um, I'm very uh, happy about that. And from a developmental perspective, um, I think it's about seeing the world from a different angle, so it's actually looking at the world and not seeing it from your own perspective as a banker or as a whether might be a mentor, you know, whether you're an insurance broker or whether you might be, it's actually sort of looking at it from a perspective of a different kind of, um, you know, lens or person or trying to do something very different. Um, and also, I think it's been great for my coaching skills because, you know, when you listen to someone, you think, oh, what's the best question to ask now to help them the most? So um, that's been great. So um, that's really what I want to say from a mentor's perspective. Um, thank you very much.